So, this is happening. So, the new Power Rangers reboot is gonna have an X-Men writer. Not bad at all. With this new Power Rangers movie, they're trying to possibly try to make it grittier and more darker, which I find to be most awesome of an idea. Because it is a Hollywood movie, they're gonna get Hollywood actors to play the new Power Rangers. Because that's what they do. So, if they're gonna cast Hollywood actors, these are the Hollywood actors that I wanna choose. Let's get this shit started. The Black Ranger. One person that I think should play the Black Ranger, who I might add is a pretty good dancer, like the original Black Ranger. The Black Ranger will be Joseph Gordon-Levitt. Joseph Gordon-Levitt is a young man who can still pass off for being a teenager. Because, come on, let's face it, the original Power Rangers were in their 20s. So why not go with the same thing in the new movie where people in their 20s to mid 30s can play high schoolers because they look young. Joseph Gordon-Levitt can play a dorky character at times and can also dance at the same time. Watch 500 Days of Summer in his dancing sequence. Also, while Joseph Gordon-Levitt can be goofy at times, he, at the same time, can also be intimidating, which is what we need in a Black Ranger. Now, on to the Pink Ranger. The Pink Ranger shall be played by none other than Jennifer Lawrence. What can I say about Jennifer Lawrence? She's hot and smart and can kick some ass if you need to. Just look at her in the Hunger Games. She has the bow and arrow thing going on down pat. Plus, Jennifer Lawrence can kick ass and also play a valley girl at the same time. On to the Blue Ranger. I have two choices to play the Blue Ranger. The first one would be the person himself to play the dorky character. And that would be Donald Glover of Community. Donald Glover can play a very nerdy character at times. Just look at him in Community with Abed. Time that into 1000, into uh, science jumbo mumbo jumbo language to whatever the hell Billy used to say. And you can have Donald Glover play a nerdy character. And he morphs into the Blue Ranger. The person behind the Blue Ranger suit should be played none other by Blake Foster, the Turbo Blue Ranger. Since he's now in his 30s, he can play the man in the suit, while Donald Glover does the voice of the Blue Ranger. On to the Yellow Ranger. The Yellow Ranger should be played by Chloe Grace Mortez. The girl from Kick-Ass and Kick-Ass 2. Chloe is one of those girls that can look innocent but can kick your ass at the same time. Chloe can be the perfect choice for being the Yellow Ranger. So having Jennifer Lawrence and Chloe Grace Mortez on your team is not bad an idea. And finally we get to the leader of the team which is the Red Ranger. Red Ranger should be played by Tony Jaa. Sure, Tony Jaa is 38 years old. But he still looks like a young man who can pull off a teenage look. He's a man of few little words. The original Red Ranger was intimidating and always wanted to prove something. The original Red Ranger was a man of few words who can kick anybody's butt. Silent and deadly, he took his job seriously and took no shit from no one. He had no time for other stuff besides being a Power Ranger. It's not until he became the Gold Ranger later on in Zero where he finally mellowed out because he was no longer the leader. But we're talking about him as being the Red Ranger. Tony Jaa would be perfect since he's a man of few words, doesn't need to speak much, can lead a team, and pretty much can kick anybody's ass. And he's pretty much a good leader. Plus he does his own stunt, so that would be great. Now we get to the sixth original ranger who came in later in the season. And that would be the Green Ranger, everybody's favorite ranger because Jason David Frank made him. Frankly, I discussed this before and I like Austin St. John better and Tommy is second. But we're here for casting choices. My choice for the Green Ranger should go to Robin Shu. Robin Shu is now 54 years old but he still can look like a young man. He can probably pull off the teenage look, but look at his resume. He is a Wushu International Forms Champion. He is a former member of the Gold and Silver Chinese National Team member. 
and also a four-time national forms grand champion. That would be perfect since Green Ranger and Red Ranger are perfectly matched. And that's what you need between the two, they're evenly matched. Just like the original Red and Green, Jason, David Frank, and Austin St. John. I think so, other fans may not think so, but hell, let's go with Robin Shu and Tony Jaw as the Red and Green Ranger. So, those are my picks for the new Power Ranger cast. Who else should be cast? Let's see. Let's go with the new Bulk and Skull. My pick for a new Bulk should be none other than Cody Slayton. Who is Cody Slayton, you might ask? This is Cody Slayton. Billy Bulk and Skull are right behind you. So you see, light catches and reflects upon various objects, sometimes creating a prism effect. How interesting. How boring. Off the beach, nerds. We have claim on this turk. Yes, he is the man who played the young Bulk back in the Power Ranger first season. Also, when the Alien Ranger showed up, he is now all grown up and still looks like a young teenage boy. I think that he could play the new Bulk, since he already played Bulk. As for Skull, I would go with none other than Felix Ryan. Yes, he is the same guy who played Spike from Power Rangers Samurai. He has the look, he has the methods down, he has all the mannerisms, except for the laugh, which was a different laugh from Power Rangers Samurai. But if Jason Narvi can take him under his wing and show him the proper laugh, I bet you anything Felix Narvi can do the proper Skull laugh since he did a modified version of it in Power Rangers Samurai. So that would be my casting choices of Bulk and Skull. Now since I casted the new Power Rangers, it would not be a Power Ranger movie without cameos from the original Power Rangers. This is my casting choice for what roles the original Power Rangers can play in the new movie. Walter Jones. Walter Jones cameo role in the new movie would be that of a dancing instructor. I picture Joseph Gordon Lovett's character in the new movie in one scene going to his dance class and who would be his teacher? None other than Walter Jones. That would be a good nostalgic wink wink to the audience. Amy Jo Johnson, if she's not too embarrassed to be in this movie since she's pretty much embarrassed of being a Power Ranger, if she can get past her embarrassment, her cameo would be, I picture her being the mother of Jennifer Lawrence's character. As for the cameo of David Yost, the cameo for David Yost in the new reboot movie will be that of a high school teacher that teaches science. Picture Donald Glover going to the science class in one scene. And who would be his teacher? None other than David Yost. Sadly, Bui Trang, I hope I'm saying her name right, died in 2001 in a car crash. So obviously she cannot be in this movie. But I would like to put the original Yellow Ranger from the pilot version of the Power Ranger series when it first came out. None other than Audrey Dubois, who was the original Yellow Ranger. Her cameo in this new movie, I would picture her playing the new Miss Appleby. Remember Miss Appleby? Like I said, another nod to the fans. And finally, the leader of the team, the greatest leader ever in the Power Rangers series, which goes to Austin St. John. Austin St. John would be the mentor and teacher of the karate school where Tony Jaw goes to learn his karate moves. Speaking of mentors and teachers, why not have a second teacher? Which would be Jason David Frank to be the mentor and teacher of Robin Shu who is also learning some other kind of karate moves like Muay Thai or whatever Tommy was learning back in the original series. Plus, we would have Austin St. John and Jason David Frank in the same scene together. That'd be great. Now that we got the original Power Ranger cameos out of the way, I would like to get the Bog and Skull cameos out of the way. Jason Narby and Paul Schreier should have cameos in this movie as well. Paul Schreier, who used to play Bulk, his cameo in this movie should be playing the new Ernie of the Juice Bar. Sadly, Richard Janelle, the actor playing Ernie, died most likely to weight problems because he left the show for weight problems and health reasons. As for Jason Narvi, his cameo should be that of the principal of the high school, aka Mr. Kaplan. If you dye his hair white and put on a mustache on him, 
He could look like Mr. Kaplan from the original Power Rangers. Oh yeah, and why not have Jason Narby and Paul Schreier share a scene together in the Juice Bar? Just for nostalgic sakes. Because, you know, that'll give a wink wink to the audience because they know who these people are. The new audience of today won't know who they are, but us fans who grew up watching the show would get the idea and love it. On to the villains of the Power Rangers. Let's start out with Rita Repulsa. A one actress in Hollywood that I can see play Rita Repulsa, who can be intimidating and bark out orders like a boss, would be Meryl Streep. Meryl Streep would play Rita Repulsa on screen. The voice, on the other hand, should be played none other than Barbara Goodson. That would be amazing. On to Lord Zed. I'm gonna go with two different people to play the character. The first person to play the role of Lord Zed would go to Michael Fassbender. They could put in a scene in a movie where Michael Fassbender is shown in his younger days what he looked like before he was mutated to Lord Zed and how he became evil. No other person can be intimidating in just a suit and just walk around being a badass. Michael Fassbender doesn't even have to say a damn thing because he's Michael Fassbender. As for the voice of Lord Zed, none other than the man himself, Robert Axelrod. As for Finster, I pick Andy Serkis to play Finster. Andy Serkis is the king of video capture, emotion, whatever the hell he does. His face can put out emotion no matter what. person who should voice Finster, again, should be none other than Robert Axelrod. He played Finster and Lord Zed. For those of you who don't know. Next would be Goldar. Two people should be playing this role. The person playing the role who can go toe to toe with the Green Ranger before Goldar became a joke. I'm talking about the Goldar of the badass years when he first came out, when he was just not to be fucked with. The person behind the mask should do all these moves, should be none other than Michael Chattaburbut. Sorry if I can't say his name right. Who is that guy you may ask? He's none other than this guy. So who should voice Goldar? None other than Kerrigan Mahan the original voice actor of Goldar. Next would be Scorpina. Who should play Scorpina? None other than Michelle Yao, who can actually kick some ass. Next would be Rito Revolto. I would like to take the comedy side out of him and not make him a joke, just make him a serious villain that can kick ass and can be frightening as hell in his new reboot movie. The person inside playing Rito Revolto should go to Donnie Yen. Donnie Yen and Rito Revolta suit kicking ass, that would be great. Also, I would like to change the voice of Rito Revolto because the original voice nobody could take seriously because it was basically a joke kind of voice. The person who should voice Rito Revolto, also has a commanding voice, should go to Lawrence Fishburne. Lastly, Master Vile, if they do put him in this movie, I wish they put him in this movie. The only person that can play Master Vile who is uh, has a fatherly and uh, intimidating side to him at the same time would go to none other than Sir Ian McKellen. Master Vile doesn't fight, he just uses words to scare the fuck out of you. So that's my pick for the villains. Now onto the allies of the Power Rangers, which is basically Zordon in Alpha 5. Who should play Zordon? None other than this guy, David Fielding. Why not? He's the original Zordon. There's nobody else that can play Zordon. No one else should play Zordon. As for Alpha 5, Alpha 5 should be played by Sandy Selner. Who is Sandy Selner? She is this person. Damn. So those are my choices for the casting choices of the new Power Ranger movie. What are your opinion and choices for the casting choices of the Power Ranger reboot movie? Until next time, take it easy, Humanoid Nation. Humanoid Freak out. Bye.